Months after the building collapse in Surfside, the fate of a memorial for those who died is still uncertain. Many want to sell the land to developers for millions of dollars. Others want a place to remember their loved ones on the site of the tragedy. And tonight they're trying again to push a proposal to make both things happen. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates is live in Surfside with the details. Bobeth? Well, Lauren, I spoke to some of those homeowners, and they are not thrilled with the potential property purchase. Instead, they proposed a plan which included selling the community center behind me. They wanted to swap properties, moving the community center to the Surfside Collapse site, and then building a memorial on that location, and instead selling this. But that proposal has been met with mixed feelings, and now they're starting at ground zero, going to New York City. It's been already three months, and we don't even know what happened. Pablo Langesfeld's daughter, Nicole, died in the Surfside collapse. He and his son, Martin, are among those pushing to create a memorial at the site. Lives and families got ripped apart from their loved ones without being able to say goodbye. That's why a simple memorial will just give us a place where we can go and honor where they took their last breath. But as family members push for a memorial at the site, Surfside Commissioner Elena Salazar says it's out of their hands. Well, I would love for that entire property to be a memorial. Now, the judge has stepped in and said, no go, not possible. I'm selling that for the highest, to the highest bidder. And Commissioner Salazar says the idea of swapping lands so the community center will be moved to the Surfside site and selling the community center land is a no go. The main reason I wouldn't swap it is because. You know, I'm a, I'm a sensitive person, and a lot of our kids are as well. I don't want to be anywhere near that site unless I'm going there to grieve, unless I'm going there to remember the victims. I'm not going to take my kids there to play in the pool. I'm not going to go there to do a Pilates class. I'm not going to build a hot tub there. And to combat all the no's, the family has partnered with September Mission, an organization that has played an instrumental role in building the 9-11 memorial. Some people just have pieces. That is not a body. I have nothing. So for me, I know that I can go to my memorial anytime I feel like it and honor my husband's last breath, his last step. And that's the same respect that we do for other people. And despite all of the opposition, the Langespells say they're not stopping until those who pass are honored. So whether it's the community center land swap, whether it's federal funds purchasing this memorial, or whatever it may be, we need to work together to make this happen. Again, that group will hold a press conference tomorrow. That's Thursday at Ground Zero site, the 9-11 Memorial, where they will discuss what they will do moving forward in hopes of building a memorial here in Surfside in honor of those victims. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 4 News, tonight.